I see it's from Lancôme, so I immediately went mascara instead of mascara. Like, come on, Monica, chill. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to go through all the sales with Ulta's upcoming 21 Days of Beauty. Now, I know a whole lot of videos are being made about this, but I really wanted to make one because this is the first sale that's come up since I've really put everything into my channel and been making consistent videos, so I really wanted to go through the sale and kind of pick out what I'm going to be buying and what I'm really going to be passing up. I will be doing the same thing for the Sephora sale, which would hopefully be coming sometime next month, so if you want to keep your eye out for that, don't forget to subscribe, and if you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button while you're down there. And let's go ahead and jump into it. So today is actually Friday the 16th, and I didn't get my little like flyer until yesterday. So I got it Thursday the 15th. Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty starts March 18th, which is Sunday. So I have the full calendar right here. What they do is they send you like a little thing that has like their whole calendar and each sale that's going on. Okay, so for those of you that might not know about this sale, about twice a year Ulta will do a 21 day sale where every day a different product or products will go on sale sometimes for as much as 50% off. So a lot of people take a look at the calendar and decide what products they want to get on which days and either plan to get to the store right as it opens or make sure that they're online when the sale goes live to pick up those products online. A lot of these products have a limit. From what I've heard and seen, the limit is two of each shade per product per customer. So keep that in mind as you're planning your sale guide. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through each day and let you know what I'm really keeping my eye on and what I'm going to be avoiding. So the first day is Sunday, March 18th. We have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara going on sale. I've tried this. The original price is $23. It's going to be on sale for $10. A, I'm no longer buying Tarte, I'm no longer supporting them, and B, I tried this mascara before and it wasn't good, so I really wouldn't recommend it. Hard pass. They also have the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash on sale from $28 down to $14, that is 50% off. I currently have my own exfoliators and skincare, skincare, and skincare routine down, so I wouldn't go for this one, but that is 50% off. It's a great bargain if you know you like the product or you want to try more from Philosophy. March 19th, the next day, they have the Benefit Cosmetics 24-Hour Brow Setter on sale for $12 from $24, and the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Anti-Aging Finishing Powder on sale for $14.50, down from $29. That's an amazing deal. I'm going to pass on the Benefit Brow Setter because I already have my brow products down and I don't really need a new one. I might look into that anti-aging finishing powder. I've heard good things about it, and I really don't own a lot from It Cosmetics. So I might look into that one. I'm not going to say definitely I'm going to get it. Since it is a Monday, I don't know if I could get into the store that day, so I would have to pick it up online. We'll have to see. March 20th, the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Powder is on sale for $14.75 from $29.50. And there's a Clinique kit, it's the 3-step skincare starter kit, on sale for $9.75 from $19.50. That, I'm gonna jump on. That's an amazing deal. You get three products, a face wash, a moisturizer, and a toner, all for less than $10. I am there. I'm going to try my best to get that online while it is available. If not, if not, I will try to get to the store after work, but I'm not sure what I'm getting off this day, but that is an amazing deal right there. The pure powder, I'm not really interested in. Uh, I don't really need another powder. I have plenty of actual, like, foundations, and I find myself not really liking full coverage powder foundations as much as I like, like, translucent finishing powders. Ooh, the next day, March 21st, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water is on sale for $16 from $32. Jump on that. That is amazing. This is a great primer underneath really matte foundation. I already have a backup of this product. I don't know if I need to go out and buy another one, but I wish I had waited because $16 is amazing. I would go ahead and get two if I didn't already have a backup. 
The other product on sale is a proactive, like, emergency blemish relief and skin smoothing exfoliator. I don't really like proactive products. I tried them when I was a teenager, didn't have the best reaction to them. I steer clear from them, but if that's an exfoliator that you're looking into, that is, again, half off. The next day, March 22nd, we have the Buxom Full-On Lip Creams for $10, down from $20, and the Clarisonic is on sale for $119, down from $169. I haven't really tried Buxom lip products. I'm not really interested. I have way too many lip products as it is, so I will be passing that one up. The Clarisonic, I already have one. I don't really need one. And from what I've seen, $119 is not the best sale price, so I probably wait and find a better sale price because you can get this for under a hundred. March 23rd, the Urban Decay eyeshadow singles are going on sale for $10 down from 20. That is still steep for a single eyeshadow. Now, if you have your eye on one single that you're really interested in, yeah, go ahead, pick it up. But it's not the kind of sale where you're gonna pick up like enough singles to make a palette. They're still $10. That's almost as much as ABH singles. Like, it's a lot. So I don't have any that I'm really looking for. I have plenty of Urban Decay palettes. I won't be jumping on that one. And the other product is an Exuviance Performance Peel. Again, I already have my skincare routine down. I will not be jumping on a new peel. The next day, there are two products on sale. It is the Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, $11 down from $22. I have not tried this liner yet. I might pick it up for the $11 because that is a good price. That is about the price of the Physician's Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black, which is what I like to do for my wing. And I'm almost out of that one. It's almost dry. It's coming up on a second like month mark and it is drying out a little bit. So if I find myself able to jump into a store that day, I will try to pick up that liner. The other item on sale are Purity Micellar Water Cloths. I have plenty of backups of my favorite makeup remover wipes, so I will not be picking that one up. March 25th, the second Sunday of the sale, we have two products from IT Cosmetics. We have the Confidence in a Compact with SPF 50 and the Airbrush Smoothing Foundation Brush. I saw a bunch of reviews for the Confidence in a Compact and none of them were good. I have never found a, like, compact foundation that I've liked. So I will be steering clear of that one. The other one, it's just a foundation brush. I have my Sigma one. I will not be reaching out for that one. But having an id cosmetics brush as $11, that's a steal. So if you don't have a foundation brush or you need a new one, I would jump on that. March 26th, the next Monday, Becca has two of their primers on sale, the Backlight Priming Filter and the First Light Priming Filter, both for $19. That's a fantastic price. They're originally $38. I will say again, they're originally $38 on sale for $19. If you like these primers, buy two. You can buy two of each. That's the limit. Do it. I got a sample of the backlight priming filter and I didn't really enjoy it. I didn't personally find that it worked really well with my skin or with my favorite foundations. So I will not be jumping on this one, but that's an amazing price. If you do like this product, get it. The other product on sale is the Hypnos Drama Instant Full Volume Mascara. Mascara, because I, I see it's from Lancome, so I immediately went mascara instead of mascara. Like, come on, Monica, chill. This mascara is on sale for $13, down from $27. The only high-end mascara that I really like and think it's worth it is from Marc Jacobs. It is the Velvet Noir mascara. I have not found any other high-end mascaras that I like. That's the only one I would spend money on. I'm not gonna splurge. Splurge. I'm not gonna splurge on this one because still $13.75 is a lot considering that there are many, many, many amazing mascaras from the drugstore. March 27th, the second Tuesday, we have a contour palette from Lorac on sale for $20, down from $45, that is more than 50% off, and then a Stila Convertible Color Lip and Chic, Chic, Jesus, <laughs> and the Stila Convertible Color Lip and Cheek Cream is at $12.50. I already have two contour palettes, so I don't really need this one. 
and I'm not a huge fan of cream products in general, especially cream blushes. I'm just now getting into blushes. I'm not gonna get the chick, the chick, I keep calling it the chick cream. It's the cheek cream Monica. March 28th, Tarte has their double take eyeliner on sale. We'll not be picking that one up. And Estee Lauder has their travel sized advanced night repair and day wear cream on sale for $8. I still think that's too much. I got a sample of this cream a while ago. I didn't like it. It smelled like grandma's and it didn't really do anything for me. And if it doesn't do anything for like a 25 year old woman, I can't say it's really going to do much for anybody else. But then again, combination skin, skincare is personal. You do you, but it didn't work for me. So I still think eight is too much for that. March 29th, Benefit has their roller lash on sale for $12, down from $24, and Murad has an acne clarifying cleanser and anti-aging acne time release cleanser on sale for $15, down from $30. I already have plenty of mascaras. Again, I don't really find that many high-end mascaras that I like, and I have my skincare routine down, so I won't be picking up any more skincare products. March 30th, Too Faced has their Melton Matte Liquefied Longwear Lipstick on sale for $10. And Peter Thomas Roth has an Unwrinkled Peel Pads on sale. Again, for skincare, I'm not really interested in picking anything new up. Um, but they're... But the Too Faced products are a great deal. I have not tried this formula. I can't really say anything to the formula or to the long wearingness or to, you know, really anything. But I've heard a lot of people like this and enjoy it. And $10.50 is definitely a better deal than their original price. So for $10.50, I would pick it up and try it. I would never pay $21 for that, honestly. March 31st, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz goes on sale for $10.50, down from $21. Go out and buy as many as you want if you like this brow product. $10.50 is a steal for ABH. Um, I know they only let you get two per shade. You can get two of each shade. So I know people that will get two of like dark brown, two of espresso, maybe two of light brown, depending on what color your hair is. But that's an incredible product and doesn't really expire that fast stock up that day. Get there. Do it. The entire line of Mario Badescu is also on sale for 25% off. Eh, that's an okay price. I haven't tried any of his products. I can't really say anything to them. It's not as great of a deal as some of the other ones, but it's there. April 1st, Bare Minerals has a foundation primer on sale for $12.50, and Cero Vital Dietary Supplements are on sale for half off. I'm not a fan of dietary supplements. I think if you're eating a healthy diet, you don't need any, so I won't be picking that up. I have plenty of primers, so I won't be picking up the one from Bare Minerals. April 2nd, we have Butter London Eye Glosses and Lip Glaze on sale for $9.50 to $12. And Shiseido has the Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector for $24. I don't really like eye glosses because I have hooded lids and without makeup and without anything on, my eyelids get really oily and I don't like how that looks. So I'm not exactly going to go through the process of doing a full face of makeup just to put like an eye gloss on. I, on me, it doesn't look that great. But if you like eye gloss, that's a great deal. They're half off. Jump on them on the second. I have an SPF that I like and that I use, and I'm not, I think 24 is still a lot. On April 3rd, Laura Geller New York has their Baked Blush and Brighten. I'm not going to pick that up, even though it is half off. I'm still just not getting into blushes. Still working with the little that I've picked up, so I'm not going to go out and get that one. The other item on sale is the Strivectin Power Starters Tightening Trio. I think it's like an anti-aging face product. Not really interested. I'm not going to pick that up. On April 4th, Lipstick Queen has their Frog Prince Lipstick. I think that's the only one that they have on sale for $12.50, down from $25. That's an amazing discount. If you like it or you want to try it, try it then. I'm not interested. <laughs> I don't really find myself reaching for that brand at all. So no. Also on the 4th, the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder is on sale for $13.50, down from $27. Amazing discount. Jump on that if you like it. I personally have 
I'm still working through loose powder, so I won't be picking that one up. On April 5th, Urban Decay has their primer potion on sale. That is one of the best eye primers that I've ever tried. It's on sale for $10 to $12 for the full size product. I'm going to see if I can get into the store that day. If not, I will be up early online trying to get two of, at least two of them because that's an amazing deal. They last you forever and the best eye primer. Just do it. Also on the 5th, Juice Beauty has a anti-wrinkle booster serum on sale. I won't be using that one. On April 6th, Tarte has a sale. Won't be doing that at all. Not supporting Tarte. Also, Dermalogica has a daily microfoliant on sale for $28.50. I have my skin tear down. Skin tear. I have my skincare routine. I'm not really looking for anything more right now, so I won't be picking that one up. And the last day of the sale, April 7th, is the day that I am most excited for. The MAC... <clears throat> my voice just cracked. Jesus. The MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus is on sale for $13 down from $26. I will be on the website, in the store, buying two of every, you know, if, I don't know if the scents are included, I don't think they are. I'll be buying as many as I can because I love Fix Plus and it's half off. I'm too excited, guys. I'm way too excited, guys. Calm down. It's half off. I will be buying as many as I can. I may or may not be telling my grandma to go in and also buy two just so I can get two more. <laughs> anyway, that's the day I'm most excited for <laughs> is the Fix Plus. Other than the Smashbox, which again, it's amazing that you can find these products half off and they're products that you go through, you use in your routine, you use every day. At least I do. Like setting sprays, primer sprays. I'm all over them. I love them. I need them. <laughs> also, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara is on sale. I really don't like that mascara. It flakes on me. It smudges on me. I can never get it to work. Those are all of the 21 days. During these 21 days, they also have buy three, get one free on minis, and they have some hot buys. I honestly don't think that the minis are a good deal they're pretty expensive as it is for minis and it's buy three get one free that's a lot so i'm not really going to recommend any of the minis because that's not really the best deal that you can find um let's go through the hot buys i don't think i'm going to be jumping on any of these but these hot buys last throughout the entire 21 days but they can sell out. So if you want to go to your local store day one to find these, go ahead and do that. If you want to get online day one and make sure you get your products, go ahead and do that. Tarte has a skin mist on sale. Won't be supporting them. Laura Geller New York has a spackle collection on sale, half off. Bare Minerals Gen Nude liquid lip color is on sale for $13 each. The Rock Los Angeles has the Pro Matte and Satin Lip Color Pencils on sale for $11 each. Lipstick Queen has their Saint Sheer Lipstick and Sinner Bold Lipstick on sale for $14. Benefit Cosmetics has the Professional Matte Rescue on sale for $21. Mally Beauty has their Shimmer Shape and Glow Palette on sale for $24. Japanesque has a Kumidori Metallic Eye Pencil Trio and Velvet Touch Eye Pencil Trio both on sale for $12. Julep has a Wen Pencil Met Gal. Okay, I get it. Long Lasting Gel Eyeliner for $9 each. Butter London has their Glaze and Blush Gelay for $15. Pure has a Miracle Mist Setting Spray for $10. And Smashbox Always On Gel Liner for $10 each. Again, I won't be picking up any of these because I'm not really interested, but they're all half off. They're all great deals, so if you are interested, I would recommend jumping on them the first day. That's everything from my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty recommendations. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you're excited for the Sephora version, which will be coming out soon. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I put out a new video. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!